I wouldn't really call it deviation. I'll just say I grew. I grew. Um, I grew. You no know, musically. I grew. I grew artistically, and um, I just grew into a singer. <laughs> I've always sang before I, I started rapping. So um, I think I just grew back into who I. I just grew into who I who I've been or who I am. So that's how that happened. If I wasn't doing music, I'd definitely be a lecturer. Because <laughs> both my parents are lecturers. Um, my eldest sister is a lecturer. I grew up in a very academic environment. I grew up in a university campus, so... Um, I was really exposed to... Exposed to and surrounded by education and academics um, growing up, so... I think that's what I'll be, because it's something I've, I've, I'm also used to. Yeah. A role model can be anybody, um, depending on what you admire in, in, in that person. Somebody's role model can actually be um, a conductor. <laughs> Not like there's anything wrong with being a conductor. I'm just saying like, well, if, if, you're, if you're in that line of business or if, if that's your journey and you're trying to be like a really great you know, bus conductor, then you definitely have um, some, some conductor around you who, who, who you admire and who is your role model. So I think it just depends on, um, it depends on you and um, what you're looking for in people. So it's not really my place to say, oh, this person is not a role model because of the kind of music he makes. Um, that's, that, that doesn't really, I don't think that's how it works. Or I don't think that's how it should be. A role model, is, it depends on you and um, what you're looking for in um, somebody else. No. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> yes, um, there's an application form to fill out. Um, <laughs> our record label office, just call Kobe, my manager, and then when you fill out the form, um, we're actually conducting an exam. So once you fill out the form, there'll be an exam. I think the last exam, there were like, um, was it 150, 157 people? So this, this new exam, we're trying to make it, you know, maybe um, 100 and then 50 and then maybe we'll come down to one, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> how do they answer these questions? Yes, thanks for my, it's, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the people who are you know, having sex at the moment, you know? <laughs> yeah. I think you should ask those who, like, you should, you should literally go and find people having sex and ask. This female fan actually followed me around for a whole day. <laughs> like, from interview to interview, you know, she just kept on showing up there. And, yeah. And then she gave me a painting, yeah. Oh, that's why she was following me around. I figured it out. She was probably following me around to give me a painting. But the thing is, that she, like, we had, she was in like six to seven different places that we were, and she didn't give me the painting until like really late at night. Like, if she wanted to give me the painting, she was just giving me the first time she, she saw me, you know what I mean? So it's, it's a mixture of stalking me and actually giving me a painting, yeah. <laughs> 